Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to show you how to uh, unflood a snowblower, your Honda snowblower engine, and uh, tell you how that happens. And I have a very easy way to restart a flooded engine compared to the old way. Now in the old days, uh, people would say, uh, just let the machine sit for a half an hour, an hour, take out the plug, uh, clean it off because it's all wet with gasoline, you know, install the plug and then it will start. But this is a lot easier. First of all, if you have a machine that's cold, that won't start, or it's hot and won't start, it may be flooded. And I'm going to show you how. Um, a lot of people, this can happen for a couple reasons other than the operator error. Um, let me think. You can you can flood the engine by tipping it. Like the, if the machine has been tipped, like let's say you're fixing something or servicing something, the gasoline will flow into the cylinder, uh, wet the plug, and then you can't, then it's flooded. Or you can smell gas. If you've been trying to start it and you smell gas, then you know it's flooded. Um, if you have a faulty carburetor, if you left the gas on and it and the gasoline bleeds over into the cylinder, it can be flooded. So let me show you what, what the mistakes that some people make. And then I'm going to show you very quickly how to restart your Honda snowblower. So first of all, as you all know, you're supposed to put the choke on on a cold engine and try to start it. You put your gas on. Here's your gas valve down here. You turn that on and you try to start it. Now, most of the times it will start after a couple pulls, but what some people do is they keep on pulling it and pulling it and pulling it with the choke on. It's got to flood the engine and it's just not going to start. Now, the same thing can happen when you've been using your snowblower for a while. Let's say you've been using it for a half an hour, an hour or whatever. Then you shut it off to take a break and then you go to the restroom or whatever. You come back and by habit, you put it back on choke and you try to start it. Now, you don't need the choke usually on a warmed up Honda snowblower. You're just going to flood the engine. I've done this many times myself. It's just the force of habit, you know, putting the choke on and trying to start it. And, and it's not going to start because you just flooded the engine. Okay. So this is what you do. When you, when you want to unflood the engine, you take it off a choke. You put it on fast throttle. This will, you turn the key off. And then you pull your starter cord about 8 to 10 times. So what this does, it blows out all that excess gasoline out of your engine. And it also helps dry the plug. So let me show you. I've got the key off and I'm going to pull it. With the key off, Okay, I pulled it out eight times. I had the throttle on fast. I just leave it on, on between slow and fast. Turn the key on and it will start. This works about 99 times out of 100. If, if in fact you have a flooded engine. Now if it still won't start after several tries, it may be something else. You know, make sure you got gas in the tank. Make sure your gas is on. Uh, there's a couple other reasons why, which we'll get into later, but this is just for a flooded engine. You've smelt gas, or you flooded it by using the choke too much, or you flooded it by using the choke on a warm engine. Well, let's see, it will start now. Let me see, I took the key on. Yep, the key's on. <laughs> Like I said, this works about 99 times out of 100 on a flooded engine. Now, this also will work on a chainsaw, uh, a wood splitter engine, a generator, any kind of small engine that has a carburetor on it that can be flooded. This is a surefire way without having to remove the spark plug or letting it sit for an hour to get your machine, your small engine equipment restarted. 
Thank you very much and have a great day.